were the suffering bodies of the hysterics, at the origin of Egon Schiele's style. How did he come into contact, with the images of the Salpetriere in patients? Let's investigate. Did Sheila know the images of the iconography photographic de la Salpetriere? One opportunity may have been his friendship with the gynecologist Dr. Erwin von Graff, who authorized him to draw in the university's Frauen Clinic that he directed. This institution owned the volumes of the iconography photographic de la Salpetriere. But we have a crucial proof in Sheila's sketchbook of 1913 to 1915. As published by scholar Gemma Blackshaw, Sheila noted the words. Kronfeld, Saturday 10 to 12 o'clock, Monday 2 to 4 o'clock. There is an additional mention of Dr. Kronfeld five pages later. These notes by Sheila, ensure his relation with Adolf Kronfeld. He was a physician, who studied the pathological expression in the human body. He was a friend and collector, of Egon Sheila's works. Kronfeld, held a lecture entitled, On the Pathology of the Portrait, in September 1913. Therefore, it is a fact in Sheila's biography, the attendance with an expert in the pathological expression of the human body. A first, credible source, for his iconic tortured bodies. But there is another investigative path to follow. The enigmatic Erwin van Orsen. An image, dated 1910, shows us, how this actor was representing the body, in a way so similar to that, painted by Sheila. Human beings are represented as puppets. He was born in 1891, was a mime artist and a painter. Co-founder with Sheila, of the, Artists Association, Neukunstgruppe. Erwin Dominic van Orsen, realized in 1915, a series of portraits, under the commission of the electropathologist, Stefan Jelinek at Vienna's Garrison Hospital II. Even earlier, we have records of Van Morsen interest, for the pathological body expressions, in a letter to Egon Schiele, written in 1913. I still have to finish a portrait in Vienna, and a few drawings at Steinhof, for the Science Day, where Dr. Kronfeld will be speaking on pathological expression in portraiture. I am already simulating all diseases, so that I may get away sooner. Our hypothesis, is that Orson got inspiration from the physical diseases, that he studied in Vienna's hospitals, for his theatrical performances, as a mime artist. The body of hysteric, inspired the two artists iconic bodies representation. In Egon Schiele's letters, there is all his existential discomfort, in a society obtuse to his art, which forced him into a continuous financial necessity. To Sheila's eyes, the purity of the human soul, was the victim of materialism. Was it what he meant, by representing the human bodies, as tortured puppets?